All right, in this video, we want to talk about a scroll management or basically how to preserve this scroll position on page switches. So let's go to our project and on the home page, I'm going to create a link here with the text refresh. And then I want to add some classes to this link. So on the home page, now we have to scroll to get to this refresh button or link. So let me set the href to the same route too, so to the home page. So that means when we click on this one, it will go back to the top of the page. So that is the normal behavior of a link. And maybe 1400 is too much. So I will just change it to maybe 600. Now this is quite easy. In order to preserve the scroll position, which is now at the bottom of this page, we just have to include the attribute preserve a scroll on that link. That's it. Right now, if I click on this link, I'm staying down here. And to show you this is actually happening, if we go to inspect our site, then go to network, then go to XHR, and you notice we have the initial load. And when I click on this button, we get the call to this page, but you notice that the page is not going back to the top like before. So just by adding this attribute to our link components, we can preserve the scroll. So this is quite useful when, for example, a user likes a post or make a comment and they press the submit button, but they are pushed back to the top of the page and not to where they made a comment or liked a post. And that's all about preserving their scroll position.